what's going on guys? This is Maury, Pat, and Dave from the Eerie Better Beer Bureau. We're back with another beer review. Today we're going to be reviewing Serendipity from New Glarus. Yeah, this is a uh, sour ale uh, brewed with apples, cranberries, and cherries aged in oak uh, and wild fermentation. So this beer it checks in at 5.1%. Thank you. Dude, I can smell the apples. Really, yeah, yeah. I'm getting kind of, like a kind of a rotten apple, but in a pleasant way, like, like an overly sweet apple. A lot of the cranberry, actually. Yeah, I a lot live, of cranberry. Live next to someone who had a, a crab apple tree. No. Yeah, this is what that beer smells like. It smells like crab apples. I, 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 you can actually pick out all three fruits yeah, fairly easily in the aroma. Yeah, I've never smelled apple so much in a beer as I smell in this one. It smells a touch perfumey almost. Yeah, I'll give you that. And there's a little bit of a woody aroma to it as well, probably from that. A little earthiness. Yeah. I mean, a little funk in the background, but not overwhelming. Yeah, right. You know? Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. This is a sour beer. Not overly sour though. I would say I'd say it's more tart. Yeah. And you know, it's a sour. I mean it's it's right where it's supposed to be, but I really like I think the fruit balances out the you know, the wild fermentation fairly well in this mm -hmm. one. It almost has a like a syrupy kind of like cough syrupy medicine y mouthfeel to it. Yeah. There's definitely a nice solid like just sweet apple juice underneath the tartness. That yeah, I think so too. It helps balance the beer out pretty well. The apples definitely come through in the taste. So do the, uh, you know, the cranberry. cranberry for sure too. The cherry out of all the fruit used is probably the, the weakest. It's, yeah, it's the yeah. weakest flavor, the least dominant. But yeah, the apple's definitely there. I mean, for sure. Then followed up by a little cherry, and then kind of just a hint, or uh, a little bit of the cranberry, just a little hint of the cherry in the background. Yeah, it tastes more like a maraschino cherry as opposed oh, yeah. to like a, a candy dark cherry. cherry. It's definitely yeah. sweeter than I expected it to be. Yeah, there's definitely a sweetness there, and that's why I think I don't think it's just for me. It's not very sour. It's there's a little tartness a little there, tart, but then yeah. in comes the sweetness to really balance it out. It's pretty refreshing. The more of it I drink, the less tartness I get out of it, and the more sweet. The sweet yeah. takes over. Yeah, and once you get settled in, that tartness definitely fades away. You know, recently I did also drink the raspberry tart from New Glarus, and this one is definitely a little more mellow. That one was, I mean, it was just over the top raspberry. It almost had a fizzy kind of carbonation. It was definitely a little more highly carbonated than this. All right, so my score on the serendipity... I'm going to go a four. I was leaning 375 at first, but I do like it. You know, I think uh, if I drank that raspberry tart again, I'd go three and a half, maybe 375. This is a step above that. You know, I think I can contribute that to the barrel aging and the different fruits. It's, you know, it's not just a single fruit beer. So, yeah, I'm going to go four out of five on this one. All right. Um, I'm going to go a little lower on this one. I'm going to go three and a half out of five. And it's definitely above average beer. Just the the... The, the uniqueness of the flavors make it a bit above average. Uh, however, like I said, there was some cool tartness to it, but that faded quick after you started drinking it, and it really just became a pretty sweet beer to me. Um, I did enjoy the different flavors you got in. You don't you really don't really get a lot of complex fruit flavors, like basic fruit flavors, not citrus flavors, out of a beer that often. And I enjoy this, but I really couldn't see myself sipping on it all night. All right, I'm going to split the difference and go 3.75. I think it's pretty good. I think it's refreshing. Um, I like the tartness. Um, but there's that almost that candied maraschino cherry taste. I'm not a huge fan of those. And this reminds me of that a little bit. So I'm not going to go too high with it. I'm going to give it a 3.75. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.